Hi again, it's Joe, One Step FX, and welcome to my trading day. Um, if you have just clicked on this video, this is just a video where I go over the trades that I've taken, what I'm looking at, why I've taken them, and how they've played out. More for my own accountability, and also just to show that you don't need to be using lots of crazy indicators or any very complicated uh, methods. So, starting with the USD Yen. I'm still in the longer term swing trade from yesterday's video. So I've moved, as mentioned, the stop to break even. Price is progressing upwards. So we'll just leave that uh, going. Um, I have taken this trade earlier today. And there were a few little scalping setups that just didn't actually follow through. They were invalidated. So I think there were two possible setups. That I ended up canceling the orders. Um, but on this trade, as we can see, it's again a 618 retracement from this swing low to swing high. And I entered as we rejected the 21 EMA and looking at the lower time frame. So I've got my entry here and I did shoot for the 1.618 extension uh, just because of the risk reward. Looking at the 127, I could have got a quick one to one. Um, but I've got a longer uh, longer term bullish view, so I shot for the 1.618. Um, also on this pair, so that, that trades at break even, so it could come back down, take me out, or it could take me uh, out for targets. Also, looking at the USD yen, so I'll just remove these fibs. As we can see, price has been moving up. So I did have a look down at the five minute chart for possible entries and there is a valid setup here uh, which orders are in place so as we can see on the five minute the price is pushed away pull back into the eight EMA and the orders that I've got set um, we'll just do this now so if you're new this is one of the strategies that I use um, so we go for entries three pips above so we're looking at eight four and the trigger candle um, here, we're looking at three pips below that um, that candle um, stop level. I think I actually used this candle because it's more of a confirmed touch of the 8 EMA. I'm looking for price to pull back into the 8 EMA. Um, I know the stop is at 90. What's the stop at? Is it 90? Well, no, it's 71. Yeah, so three pips below, yeah, 71. So yeah, 10 pip or 13 pip trade. So we've got 26 pips in total. Uh, the first target's for 13 pips. If price hits that uh, target area, then I'll move the second position to break even and we'll let that one ride. So that's what we've currently got on the USD Yen. So again, yesterday at the end of the video, there was a setup that I was looking at, but price did push below. I think it was around here. The price just did end up pushing lower. Uh, before it uh, started to move more bullish. On to EURUSD. Um, so as you can see, this was the second attempt at the swing trade that I took yesterday. The first attempt I entered too early around here and got stopped out. But again, because of the uh, second confirmation candle and the EMAs moving down in the manner that they have, I took the trade uh, and that hit target today. So that was a good, um, what, 73, 73 pips? I'll, I'll check my effects book in a minute just to see what the exact pips were. But that trade worked out rather well. So again, just putting more confirmation that aiming for the 127 extension off these one off the back of these uh, 618 moves does work. Also, we have seen the 1.414 FIB extension hit as well. Um, I also did have two trades on the Euro USD. One, um, or well, one of the trades was the second position off of the scalping that I had yesterday, which I believe. Let's have a quick look. Is it this one? Where have you gone? Let's just jump down. I'll just put all of these three on. All right. So on the one hour chart, it's going to be easier to try and <laughs> try and explain this if trading view would like to take me down to the one hour. Again, for some reason, the Euro USD is being a bit finicky. Three hours, two hour, five minutes. 
of strange. Right. Let me just hide these again. Just try and get down to the. Uh, I don't want to refresh the page because I have to go through the rigmarole of putting all these. Um, uh, of all these pieces in. So while that's deciding to do whatever it's going to do, I'll just bring up my effects book so you can see um, what's happened. So I had a earlier trade today. Um, and you, again, you can see today, so far closed pips is 85, up plus 2%, uh, which is good. Um, history. So... Euro USD that was 79 at uh, 73.9 pips. I also had another trade which hit 28.7 pips, another one that was 14 pips. USD uh, yen I've had one for 10 pips and 21 pips. Um, there was a trade that I got stopped out on that I was trying to show you on the chart. Pardon me, for 25 pips. Uh, so you can see a bit of a mixture there of um, you know positions. I'll uh, just make this a bit bigger so you can see it a bit easier, but you know. You can see it's the, the stops are quite, when I'm getting stopped out, that this is quite consistent. So again, depending on the lot size, depends on the stop. And again, if I just go to the second page, probably a sea of red. But again, you can see it's the, the 15, 14, 13. So a lot of these scalping positions, um, I've really reined that in today as I didn't need to take as many because I was involved in those uh, swing positions. So Euro, yes, oh for God's sake. See, I don't know why. It has, oh, there we go. Finally, it's decided to work. So the joy of trying to do a live video and look all smart and fancy, eh? So let's just bring up this tree and we'll just, just try and find the hiding position. So that is one of the trades I'm in at the moment. Uh, so I'll just do that one first. Again, we've had a 618 retracement here. And this was the trade where earlier, again, I did have a earlier position on this one. But as you can see, because I was too early, um, and it was, and you can see the stop, it literally bang to the stop and then fell. So, yeah, not ideal, but again, I managed the risk, so it wasn't a problem, but I felt, still felt confident that uh, it was going to drop. So I, again, waited for a bit of further confirmation and then uh, entered again. So that trade is at break even. That's currently going down. Um, and I believe there was one more trade. To try to see where this one is. I think it's a little bit further back. Is it a bit further back? No. Well, there was another sculpt trade from yesterday, so I don't actually know where where this other um, risk reward has gone. Oh, there you go. See, now it's decided to pair. So this is the trade that I had running last night. It moved to break even. And uh, eventually this morning, price did pop down and take out that position. Um, so overall, haven't taken too many trades today. It's just been these positions running. Um, but I do have a couple of orders pending. So I've got the pending order on the USD yen. Um, so I've still got, still long in the big swing position. I'm still long on that smaller sort of one hour straight four hour swing uh, trade um, and on the euro again because we can see I'll just get rid of these risk rewards now we've covered those off no need to see them um, let's just get rid of all these fibs as well so price as you can see is falling away from the EMAs and the EMAs are still nicely fanned out on the uh, one hour chart on the five minutes uh, you know, I'm just going to bin everything. See you later. Thank you. On the five minute chart, <clears throat> we've got this entry here. So price is pushed down, it's pulled back up, and we've got this position. So, again, for the purpose of the video, entries, uh, we've got entry there. So, three pips below, eight, two. Trigger candles this white one that's pulled up into the eight EMA. So, we'll just put that there. And then. So this is going to be 14 pip stop and then a 28 position, 28 pip position overall for the second trade. So first trade, if it hits target, will be for 14 pips, move the stop to break even. And then uh, the second trade, if price continues, uh, will go down a further 28 pips. 
So that is really all I've got to share today. So that's just the skull from position. The orders are in on that. Um, so yeah, everything's sort of just continued to push down. So for a change, my trading week has um, not been too bad. So I'll just zoom in here. So again, my overall account, this is for uh, the demo account that I'm trading. So all of these trades are on a demo account. Um, I started in September with a thousand pound demo account. And as you can see, equity curve's been a bit choppy, then it fell off the face of the earth where I was rather impatient and just put some silly trades on which were very self-destructive. So now I'm in the uh, clawing back profit stage of trading. So hopefully, uh, keeping the consistency here, I can continue this uh, curve going up. But as you can see, things are moving in the right direction. Um, overall this week, I'm up 1.47% and today I'm up 2%. So by anyone's you know, standards, that's a pretty good uh, performance. Um, and I'm just going to continue doing that and we'll see what happens tomorrow with these trades and if there's anything valid to uh, to take. But for the time being, um, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe and I'll be back tomorrow for uh, another My Trading Day.